up? So welcome to Sound Bite Me. I'm your host, Alan Palmer. Today we have some very special guest stars. Joel Steven, the creator of Bite Me, and the co-star, Parker Kaysen, is here. So let's take a bite out of this. Watching these episodes, I have to ask you, where did you pull this out of? <laughs> you mean, other than the insanity inside my head? Um, I just thought it was time to um, kind of flip the genre on its ear. We need to pull out the rug from the genre and go up to a zombie and tweak his nose even if it comes off in your hand. You know, <laughs> what we're doing clearly is absurd, surreal violence that takes you into a, another place. Maybe more like Monty Python on the Holy Grail's Black Knight, well, it's who squirts <laughs> Kool-Aid. And of course our third guiding principle of the show, that the revolving door on the cast and our intention to kill off more people than Game of Thrones. Oh, that's a record I want. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's take a look at this clip right here. Alright. Oh! Never gets old. It's a little disgusting and yet at the same time I'm craving a burrito. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, we've got a Twitter question here. Oh. At Zombie Dentures asked, do you guys know who is going to die in advance? This is for Parker. We have no idea. Because none of us yeah. get the final page of the script until the day of the shoot. Every episode I've thought so far, I'm the black guy, I'm done, I'm gone. I'm still around, go figure. We're gonna start with a 10 episode arc. Okay. I think a lot of great shows have been uh, have proven that they can do a lot in just 10 episodes. Are all of your deaths going to be this crazy? We plan on coming up with something new every time. I mean, the, the, what, flea, the flea market thing, dude. We've, we just got through shooting a scene at a flea market where this, Zombie is stumbling after our hero, and he's defending with everything he can grab, but nothing is going to kill this zombie. Like 50 percent, a squeaky hammer, a mustard dispenser, cotton candy. Joel, I love this whole confessional thing. I need to know where that all came from. All cutaways actually owe a lot to the HBO show uh, Dream On. Okay. Yeah. If you remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's it. We're, we're, we're going to take whatever they're thinking and seeing and feeling, and then we're going to show it in this fantasy way. But more than that, the comic possibilities of the reveal. Like the reveal we just saw <laughs> exactly. with Tracker. Okay. <laughs> Tracker clearly. It has, shows all the skills of being an, a Native American with hunting tracking skills. He's a Filipino who taught at a preschool. <laughs> kind of similar, but a little different. You know? I think the biggest shock at the end of the no, series will no. be if someone reveals they're exactly who we thought they are. Right now we have to cut to a commercial, so we'll be back in just a moment.